zombies aren't real. But what if they were? And suddenly you and your best friend were plunged into a zombie apocalypse with no weapons. Oh my God. No food or water and have to survive five hours. Would you be able to survive? Ah! This is the world's most realistic zombie survival simulation set over 2000 acres. Oh my God. I'm dying already. <laughs> This simulation has hordes of zombie actors whose single goal is to catch humans and infect them. Just to show you what that looks like, this is what I did earlier. All right, boys, try not to die. Try not to die, what do you mean by that? <laughs> there is only one rule. If a zombie touches your skin, you're dead. You're dead, boys. That shows that you're definitely dead. In this entire simulation, there's only one other human. My friend Niall. Problem is, right now he has absolutely no idea he's in a zombie apocalypse. Hi, mom. Yo, yo, Niall, can you hear me? I can hear you, I think. Okay, as you know, a couple of weeks ago, I messaged you about meeting up to have a chat and to hang out, right? So today we're going to be able to do that. But you know me, if we're going to have a little heart to heart. I want to do it with a little bit of a spicy twist. <laughs> okay, Niall, I'm not going to lie. You need to get out of that room. All I need you to do is survive. There's an entrance to a nuclear bunker that you need to find and get in there to be safe. Okay. So you guys are probably wondering why I'd put my friend into such a terrifying situation. <laughs> Basically, I've only seen Niall once in the last year and he's like my best friend. And last month I literally forgot about his birthday. So as a way to make it up to him and to thank him for being such a good friend, I'm going to help him survive a zombie apocalypse because Niall is obsessed with zombies. Yeah. And so theoretically, he should love this. Didn't I tell you I hate running? <laughs> Yeah. This could be Okay, so this is the canteen. It looks like a bunker, but it's not. Yeah. Okay, I've locked the gate behind me. And I'm going into the bunker. Now, as I said, this area is huge. And right at the heart of it is a massive nuclear bunker that Niall is entering. And which I now have to find him in. Okay. It's like army gear and stuff here. Hopefully there's some weapons. Well, not weapons, but like survival gear. I guess I'll keep going. I'll just follow where the lights are on. Oh, oh, my God. oh, my God. oh, shit. oh, 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 Unfortunately, this is only the beginning for me and Niall. We still have four hours of the simulation to survive and the zombies are quickly multiplying. And what's worse is this simulation is designed to only have one of us make it out alive. Can we block that door or something? I don't know. Is this perfect? I feel like that's literally perfect. <laughs> is this a proper adventure, boy? It's a proper adventure. Oh my god, it's a proper adventure with zombies and shit. Literally my dream come true. Which is kind of <laughs> dumb. <laughs> You're a weirdo, boy. You're a weirdo. It was great to see Niall again. The last time we met, we barely had any time to talk, let alone check in on how we were both really doing. But when Movember, the men's mental health charity who are sponsoring this video, asked me would I reach out to a friend and show how I do it, I knew this was the right time to reconnect with Niall. And so my goal is to find a safe area away from the zombies where we can finally talk. The only problem, to survive this simulation, you need to complete three missions that this guy gives you. You need to get a sample of a dead body and try not to get killed. Is there They're all just no! Do we just take the hand? He gave us a hand. Maybe we should just take the whole thing. This must be it, like the hand. Yeah. Get over here, guys. Stairs, stairs. Shit! Close this door. Please close the door. Okay. Okay. Yes. The hand. Bring it. Oh, in. Bring it here. That's bring the swap. That is the swap. That's the swap. That looks like a hand. <laughs> go away. Just go, go away. Second 
important mission I need you to do. So it's a very important mission. If I don't get this, then we are not going to survive. None of us will survive. Do you understand? What do you need? Just tell us tell what you need. Tell us. I will if you shut up. Go and get me a snack. The scientists then gave us suits and green goo that will apparently protect us and change the behavior of the zombies in the simulation. <laughs> Get this on the walls and stuff now. And then suddenly, on our quest for toast, we were face to face with a canteen filled with zombies. Toast! Toast! <laughs> Where's the toast? Get the toast. Where's the bread? There's a lot of food and stuff here. I feel like this place is I well stocked. Like we, we are screwed. Look out the window, man. Look how many zombies there are. Miles, oh, there's so many zombies. Okay. Waffle. Wait, he'll have a waffle. He'll have a waffle. He'll have to do with a waffle. Yeah, they're all gone. I wasn't sure if the horde of zombies would come back. For the moment, I thought I had time to finally sit down with Niall to tell him why we're here and finally come clean about forgetting his birthday. That was amazing. <laughs> Since it was the end of the world, it was the perfect time to have, have like a proper vulnerable conversation. Me and Niall have been like friends literally since we were four. And I think we've been good about reaching out to each other when things are like a little hard or usually girl trouble. <laughs> Most of the time. <laughs> I don't move to the US. I do feel like I'm gonna be there very long. I'm gonna move away from my girlfriend. Like that's that's a big challenge. I think it's gonna be fine, but at the same time, like doesn't feel good. <laughs> Will it? No, like that's a big deal. It's natural for you to worry about it. It's very nice to hang out with her though. <laughs> She's lovely, man. Yeah, she My does. mom loves Lauren <laughs> yeah. more than I think Dara does. <laughs> uh, what the hell? <laughs> like, I think guys need to learn to ask for help. Like, I, I, I do find it hard to ask for help. I do not too many times ask for help, but I have asked for help off you. you um, yeah, reluctantly. Quite reluctantly, yeah. yeah. So I need, I, I need to get better at that. Like, it's not like everything's going the best. I'm definitely stressed out of my mind. Yeah. And I'm not giving as much time to you. Man, I'm barely texting you. Like, yeah. you might text me and I'm like... But I know you're busy. I completely forgot to even wish you happy birthday. Oh, you did? Yeah. I did notice. Yeah. But also... No, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I genuinely... I, oh, I, thanks, man. I appreciate you. Man, I, I was like... I actually appreciate you acknowledging it. You know? Man, I screwed up. Yeah, you screwed up. Because you were... I knew really it was coming. It, man. But I, I did know you were super busy. And like, you are... You're a lot busier lately than you've ever been, I think. Well, I guess you're a bad friend. <laughs> Well, I think you've made up for it now. This has been like one of the craziest experiences of my life. Yeah. Genuinely. Man, this is weirdly your dream come this true. This is my dream come true. It's really exciting that I'm able to do this. and be able to like bring you over here to do this. I know. So just give me a little pat on the shoulder. No, 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 I'm joking. <laughs> I'm literally glad we had that conversation. I feel a little bit lighter that I've actually said that. Yeah, man. Come I'm on. so glad you brought it. You brought it home. Oh, you brought man. it home. So I don't know how that... Are there zombies up there again? Uh, well, they're outside. The zombies are outside? Niall! Oh my god! Niall, there's lots of zombies coming. Oh, look more zombies! They're coming into the yeah, base! That's right for them. We need to bring that waffle up to your man. Yeah. To get it done. Mr. Scientist! My toast! Here's my toast! Uh, we don't have toast. We couldn't find what? any bread. Would a waffle what? suffice? Maybe, 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 maybe. Let's see. We're good. Then, with the waffle delivered safely into the scientists' hands, it was time to complete the final mission and reach the rescue team. Just one last thing. Go to the to the radio tower and turn on the distress beacon. Okay. Yeah, once you've done that, I'll radio the distraction team. Then go to the tunnel where they'll pick us up at the end of the tunnel. I'll meet you there. Okay. Yeah, so get that beacon turned on. Then we can escape out of here. Okay, I've got everything I need. I'm ready. All right, good. All right, let's, then you ready? Let's get out of here. Okay, I'm, I'm ready. Let's go. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so dark. Oh my god, it's so dark. We have one zombie on us. He's firing. Zombie's firing. Ah! Look at the fire! Holy s! Oh! Oh no! I don't like the look of this. I do not like the look of this. Oh, this was the place from the start. Sorry, you okay? This is where I started off. Okay, quick, quick, quick. Uh, listen. 
Oh, guys, no. uh, we have to turn the button or turn the key? Turn the key. That's the signal? Yeah. And then we have to go to the tunnel? No, he said to go to the tunnel because we're going to get picked up. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go. I think it's this place on the left, isn't it? Yeah, 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 it's here, it's here. Is that it? it? Must be. He said the entrance to the tunnel is this way. Oh yeah, it looks like a tunnel. So the tunnel, man, that... Oh! I kind of forgot that. We're meant to be getting rescued right now. Oh, bad! Look at that! Right there, look! Whoa, look at that! Oh my god! That... It looks cool. Oh! <laughs> Jesus Christ! You may recall earlier that I said the simulation was created to only allow one person to survive. Well, let me introduce you to the final tunnel. Beyond this is our freedom. What do we do? What do we do? Do we just run through it? What do we do? The rescue is at the end of the tunnel. Both of us can't, we can't run through it. We're gonna die. So what do we do? Let me just check. Let's just have a quick check. Although I think I know what we have to do. What do we do? Let's go, let's go, let's go. What do we do? You know what we have to do. This is your dream. I'm gonna sacrifice myself for you. No, boy, we gotta get out of here together! Oh, we can't, boy. We gotta get out together. I'm gonna distract them. I'm gonna try and save you. I want you to get through that tunnel, boy. There's no chance we're getting through it. We can find another way out. We've come this far, together. The rescue team are at the end of the boy. We can't, we can't. Man, I you go, have to make boy, it. Boy, boy, listen, listen, it. Listen, listen, listen. I will do the absolute utmost to draw them in here, not die. I'm gonna, I'm gonna somehow circle my way around. I'll see you, boy. Get to the rescue team. Get to the van. You got this. <laughs> I love you, bud. I love you, too. <laughs> if this was a movie, this would be the moment the hero steps up to the plate and fights for his friend. This whole journey began with Movember reminding me how important it is to be able to talk to your friends. And so before I end this nightmare, I want you guys to make the same effort. Ask a friend of yours to meet up so you can open up about how you're doing and let me know how it goes. Because for me, I'm not going to be taking me and Niall's friendship for granted anymore. It was time to finish this. Let's, let's hide here. Just get Oh, zombies! Come! Come for the zombies! No! 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 Let's go, let's go! I think that might be it. Whoa! Oh, man! No, 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 no! Whoa! No. Survived the five hours of the zombie apocalypse. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.